Today we've got a really fun one. New drivers in 2023 from paying the G430 Max and LST against their predecessors, the G425 Max and LST. We'll hit some shots. We've got TrackMan to give us all the data and we'll break down everything new with the G430 drivers. Golfers, if you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give this video a like and drop a comment. Tell us what you think of the new G430 drivers. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahole, the Second Swing Golf, joined by Cameron Fitzer, Master Club Fitter here at the Minnetonka store. Uh, exciting one today, Cameron. Yeah. Uh, new drivers from paint and comparing them to the old ones. So right. we've got Swing Report for the video or for the G430 uh, drivers on the channel already. So people have kind of already been introduced to them, but yep. of course they're curious about uh, G430 versus G425. Absolutely. So, um, and I think what we know from Ping, and I know you've got some experience as well, and you've uh, talked with Ping a little bit about right. the drivers as well. So I know the, the ball speed and kind of the audio and the sound were kind of the really the two big things that Ping focused on with this, this driver series. Right. I can say 100%. Haven't had a uh, chance to do a ton of testing myself, um, yeah. but did get the chance to go out to Ping, uh, mm -hmm. did some kind of product training and stuff like that out yep. at their, their testing facility out in Scottsdale. Um, really what I would say, definitely different, different audio out of yeah. the, the newer stuff for sure. That was definitely something you could tell with 425 stuff. Yeah. Great performance, but definitely in the bays, it got a little loud, and that was something yeah. that we definitely heard from a lot of players. So a little more muted right. sound, not as much going on, louder, louder noise is yep. typically something that can be off-putting for, for some players as well, right. too. And I so. think one of the other pieces of feedback, too, from, from Ping over the years when you know golfers are playing Ping drivers right. is the forgiveness in the high MLI. 100%. And they have, I, I, I know in a lot of the opinions of the fitters at Second Swing, whether it's here or any of the other stores, yep. they kind of go to Ping almost as a default if a player really is looking for forgiveness. Absolutely, 100%. Ping, like, like you said, kind of hit the nail on the head there. From a forgiveness standpoint, Someone's coming in looking to hit something straight, don't necessarily care how far they want to right, hit it. Obviously, right. distance is great too, yeah. but if we just want to hit it straight and have something in play, yep. ping is always going to be a really good starting point right. for us. Right, so they've kind of ma mastered the, I guess, forgiveness element. Right. But now, they thinned out that face a little bit, yep. uh, really going for some extra ball speed. 100%. There, uh, you know, there's, there's a couple of key pieces, and I know people are chasing distance nowadays. Yes. They got the forgiveness down. Um, can they chase and you know be the longest driver out there as right. well? I think that's what they're going for. So today we'll try to find that out, yep. or at least see those gains year to year. So um, we've got the Max from both models and the LST from both models. Yep. We'll kind of just hit all four and compare them. We'll also maybe see some spin differences yeah. then too between the Max heads and the LST heads. Right. Um, but I think it'll be fascinating because uh, again, I, Ping is, you know, I think one of our favorite brands to fit. Yep. It's always so reliable, very forgiving. But yep. now I think we're curious about A, that sound, and B, that ball speed. Right. So uh, I'll hit the shots today. We'll hit some bombs into the track. Oh, yeah. Man. And then uh, we'll come back. We'll talk through the data and see what we find. Love it. Yeah. Atta boy. Should be good. That was killed. Oh my god. That should be good. Good swing. Yeah. It's definitely a different sound. Like 100 percent It's so much sharper. It's yeah, it, that's what it's like a more piercing noise yeah. than this one. Felt the club face twist open on that one. Actually, kind of works. Good swing. Good swing. All right. Well, Cameron, um, yeah. we've got five good ones with each driver, um, but we have to talk about that sound. Right. Uh, this was, I got the G425 LST in my hand right now. Yeah way louder yeah like piercing than the g4 definitely definitely a higher pitch sound um yeah, like i said something we heard outside as well as indoors right. sound is kind of the biggest thing that we're we're seeing in terms of a difference yeah from a performance perspective between that 425 yeah. and 430 yeah and i think visually there's a couple of more elements on the crown that right are just a little bit different right um that i mean visually if you're the if you're the player that is particular about what you see at address you might notice and might um, be more inviting to you, I think, with Absolutely. G 430. But um, otherwise, I think the sound is the big piece. Yep. I mean, and I'm looking at the numbers here too. There's 
Nothing major. Right. Um, just for me in this test, slightly more efficiency with yep. the G430 LST. Yep. Uh, just a little bit. Hair more ball know, speed. Yeah, more ball speed. Right. And then, um, I mean, a little bit more efficient on that smash factor. But exactly. a lot of it, other than that, was pretty similar. Very, overall. very similar. I, yeah. I would say, like, if this was a case where you're coming in for a fitting and I've got you in two drivers here and we've got similar performance yeah. like we've had on either of these, it's more so a look and feel thing. Yeah. Uh, it's definitely a, a case where we defer to the player and say, hey, right. what looks good, what feels good, because I'm not the one playing it, you're going to be the one right. playing it. Right, and I, I mean, I again, I, if, I know a lot of people, maybe they're, uh, I guess, negative feedback of, of the G425 series was that sound. And right. It is much more pleasing, I think, with yeah. the G430. Sounds, it, just, it just fits and sounds way better. Than, sounds more solid is, yeah, is probably exactly. how I would put it. Less yeah. hollow, more more solid. Right. Is, it's is definitely not distinct way. like it had been um, with like G425 compared to other brands. Right. You definitely, you know, you hear it from four bays away. You know, like, oh, they're, they're hitting ping right now. Right. Um, I don't think you're really going to have that with G430. Right. I think this was awesome kind of explanation or picture that shows best of both worlds between distance and forgiveness though. Got a low spin head, efficiency stayed up, even yeah. on a couple strikes where we got a little off center and direction wasn't necessarily something that was overly right. hard for you to control with that 430 as well. Right. Yeah, I think the, the map too was maybe a little bit smaller oval with G430. Yeah, yeah, um, a white circle I felt like, here. Yeah, and again, that was probably some sort of user error as well, but I think my face was just a little bit more open with the G425, but Still some pretty good consistency there on those right. five shots. Definitely. Um, so I think the, you know, with the, with the max heads now, we've got those at 10 and a half degrees. These yep. are at nine. So yep. you'll see, you know, higher launch and spin and things. But right. um, the, the forgiveness and kind of maybe the miss hits that I have, we'll maybe add a little couple more of those in just right. to see. Um, kind of how those miss you know, hits how influence they perform on Absolutely. those miss hits. Let's go with that and then yeah. we'll see. We'll come back and look at those numbers too. I like it. There he is. Much better. Good swing. I went after that a little bit too hard, maybe. No. Club speed didn't really change. Definitely seemed easier to turn over, too. Interesting. That was off the toe, so I was wondering what was going to happen with that one. Really good swing. That's more of what I would expect. Look at that side. Zero. Right on the line. Zero inches. All right, so the max heads now we've hit. Yep. Uh, five good ones with each. And we did see some differences there. I think we'll also talk about maybe the impact location. I, was, right. I had a couple with the uh, G425 that were just kind of far out on the toe that maybe I, I skewed things maybe a little right. bit, but the Ease of launch and kind of generating a peak height with the G430 Max, I think, is worth noting. For sure. Um, a lot more spin, right? Mid 2000s, which yep. I think is really good. And then you see that height go way up. Yep. Um, so I think, I mean, it's it, it's a max head, I think. Yep. It, and I think it's as, as advertised, right? Ping 100%. did a good job and they deliver what they say they are going to deliver with this drive. Yep. Just based on what we saw with testing there, I think 430 Max is honestly is going to be a great option for, for yeah. fitters like myself. Something that spins a little bit more and is really easy to launch for that player who tends to have that lower ball flight, yeah. myself included, I think there's going to be a lot of people who that would appeal to. Mm -hmm. Just where you could create a little more height and yeah. have that ball hang in the air a little longer is going to equate yeah. to more distance for a lot of players too. And I think one thing I was, I was talking to you about as well before we actually started filming mm -hmm. was the SFT versus Max kind of decision that you guys as fitters right. make and as golfers that are made, being made as well. Right. And one thing you guys think about is, you know, you can maybe fit golfers into the SFT head, right? But if they, you know, move on or, or their swing improves from kind yeah. of that, that slice type swing right. and they start hitting the ball straight, mm -hmm. you want that head to still work for them. For and that's sure. where the adjustable uh, weight on the back can help. And so I think we should just talk about maybe on the map I saw, right. I didn't, I don't think I hit one right with the G430 Max. Correct. So maybe some subtle kind of. I don't want to say draw bias, but things there to maybe fight the right a little bit with right. his head. More ease of use for you turning it over for sure compared yeah. to that LST head, 100%. Mm -hmm. Definitely something we saw with within kind of that group of shots you hit. 
And really a case where even compared to 425 max, where we had more toe shots, yeah. something where you'd expect the gear effect to right. bring that more back from right to left. And we didn't necessarily see as much ease of use drawing the ball back right. there too. So right. again, something that's nice for a lot of players. But as you said, kind of decision between the SFT and our max head is, is always a case of where do you want your game to go and right. how are you going to work on your game? Because like if you're going to be the player who's not really practicing a ton, you kind of right. just go out every, every weekend and you just want to have something that goes straight, yeah. fighting that right side. SFT may be a great option, mm -hmm. but if you're taking lessons and maybe think that you want to improve and, right. and maybe groove a little draw swing going, something that has adjustability is going to be great because right. it's not going to handcuff you once you, yeah, once you, you end can, up in that SFT. You can get a similar effect with the max head with that weight in the heel a little, a little bit, have some of that draw bias that's in the SFT head. Absolutely. Uh, but I think this kind of also shows too, there's really good performance to be had yet from the G425 series. Definitely. Um, I think if, if golfers aren't necessarily looking for brand new, mm -hmm. the G425 models do really well. Um, I think really the big differences we saw, while well, we maybe heard, right, right. was the, the audio. That was a big one for me, hitting the shots. We also saw a slight ball speed increase. It looks like with actually both models. Yep. Um, about a mile an hour, so uh, that's something, something to, to note. Right. A little bit more efficiency maybe with the newer models and that yep. kind of thinner face. But I think we kind of saw some of those things come true as to what Ping was telling us about the drivers. Absolutely. For sure the audio, yep. completely different and much more pleasing, I think, to the masses. And then maybe slightly more ball speed and efficiency on the strike. Right. Definitely a case where it wasn't necessarily trying to re-engineer a completely new product. Right. So make advancements, make improvements. Right. Like you said, 425 is great. I think 430 just has a couple little tweaks in terms yeah. of sound and feel, slight performance differences that are going to be great right. for a lot of players. I mean, it was their drivers weren't didn't need a ton of improvement, right. right? They were so reliable and forgiving for so many players. But just adding a little bit more ball speed and then kind of fine tuning that audio, right. I think, is going to make G430 a big, big winner in 2023 and beyond. So, golfers, uh, you saw our test today. Uh, if you have any interest in the G425 or G430 drivers, you know what you can do. Schedule that fitting uh, at Second Swing. Could be with someone like Cameron here at the store or through our online fitting and support team on the website at secondswing.com. We'll get you set up with a new driver that's right for your swing. Cameron, thank you for joining today, yeah. uh, providing the insight. Really good stuff, and we're excited about G430 drivers, I think. Definitely.